Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something different. If you are new here, hello. Welcome to the channel of the Jersey Girl for Life. All my homeboys and homegirls, come over here to check out my bag. Uh, jazz me ups and um, sometimes bag reviews and then lifestyle vlogs. I have a little bit of everything going on over here. I even have a cooking channel that I have not been cooking at because I am always eating out. But listen, today I thought about something. I said, you know, sometimes as influencers, I'm an influencer out of the Atlanta, Georgia market. We show our audience things, but sometimes we really just don't show them beginning to ending we just bring them the end product so today i'm bringing you me putting my nail kit together with you all and this is so if you have some of these things you can replay this video you can share this video or you can just go and maybe think about putting yourself together one if you're into press-ons so these are press-ons these are uh from shein i love their nails if you're into longer nails, they have them there for you. They have short as well <clears throat> for you stubbies. I'm sorry, subbies. <laughs> but also they have long, and I just love, love, love their nails. Very durable. They don't bend and crack unless you're trying to fix the engine. Let's jump into it. I was going to use a clear bag and design it. You know how I, I well, if you, you have been here before, you know that I bling things up a lot. But then I thought about it. I was like, oh, I don't know how durable it's going to be. And I don't have time to be worrying about the stones, this, that, and the third, right? So then I had gotten on one of my hauls, accessory hauls, I had gotten these inspired long shop bags. So this is going to be my nail kit. I have a blue one as well to go with my long shop. And then um, I have this color long shop as well. I was going to use this in there, but I still will, but I'll have my nails in there. So this is what it looks like with the brown tabs. Here is the faux button look, you know, other tab, that's it. And you cannot uh, attach anything on this side unless you get the things from Amazon to do so. Let's get into it. If I was putting this bag together, and you can do this with me, what I would do is the nails that you're going to choose to use or you currently have on, you want to carry with you. Keep that in mind. Do not get caught without extra nails that would pretty much fit every nail, or you could at least make it work until you could get to a new pack. So this is a new pack. I'm going to go ahead, place those in there. And this is nice and spacious. You don't want it to be huge. Remember, this is on the go. Uh, if you're out of town, whatever color you're wearing for the day, whatever, you want to be able to make sure that you're okay. If something pops off, you could pop on, right? Ah, uh, y'all yeah, hear me. Okay, this is one of my emergency kits that I keep in my car. I brought it out and I've taken a lot of stuff out. One, we have been using it. See, there's a mask. <laughs> um, and here I keep masks, um, a plethora of things. These are... Um, Give me one moment. I'm okay, um, this I actually, this is an old pill bottle um, with vitamins. So what I did was put some cotton swabs in there like these. And then I poured alcohol in them. And I put just enough so that it would absorb it up, but also keep it wet enough that if I need to cleanse something, I have some alcohol. That way I didn't have to try to carry alcohol. So that's in that kit and if you want to know what i put in these type of emergency kits also i get these emergency kits or these little clear pouches from the dollar tree i also use them inside of my purse as an organizer depending on the bag and i have them in other colors so we'll talk about that another time but some items i'm taking <clears throat> out of here so the items i'm speaking of are some cotton swabs so that if I need to cleanse my nail bed with some remover, make sure you take remover with you and know you're not going to take this. And then I have some um, ear uh, Q-tips, I'm sorry. And this does say vanity pack because this is for emergency kits. I got this in a kit and uh, I just keep refilling them. <clears throat> These you can go around the cuticles in the event you paint your own nails mine come pre-painted so i don't worry about that but some ladies do their own manicure so you want to have something 
to cleanse your nails with and fix corrections and stuff like that. You know, some, well, correct some bloopers on your nails. So we're gonna put that in there. Then, like I said, make sure you have nail remover. You have to cleanse your nail bed because if you do not, your nails are not going to stick well and then you want to rough them up a little bit with your emery board and things of that nature. So to combat that, what I've chosen to do, put your travel size bottles that come in a lot of your uh, cosmetic cases, put those to use for that. So I'm going to take this, oh, this is the type that I choose. Look at that. You flip it and then you can just dab it on to the cotton swab and utilize it. Versus if you take this off, now you have to make sure you cover this and do that. I don't opt for that. So let me go ahead and do that with you all. And like I said, you can play this back, put yours together and yeah, uh, have something just in case. So here I'm going to pour my nail polish remover. You can make it as full or not as you want. I'm not gonna fill it all the way up because I can always re-up. Remember this is just for the day or a vacation. I'm so sorry, I'm putting the wrong thing on there. Now that's gonna pose a problem. So this is just some regular nail uh, polish remover. I'm gonna pop that back on. And of course, we want to make sure this is not gonna leak out in our bag. I recommend that you utilize small baggies like this and put this down in there to protect it in case of a leak. Do not have a oops moment, oh my God, and everything is all jacked up because at that point you're through. Now, for me and my camp, because we know how things happen even when we are protecting ourselves, I would also place a piece of tissue in there just to help absorb in case you have so much spillage, it still comes out. So just stick a piece of tissue in there. And that is, like I said, that's a just in case, right? It'll help soak something up before, it, maybe you'll start smelling it before it actually comes out. So now we're good to go. Try to stand this up if you can. I see that it really will not. So it's going to be better to lean it but you don't have to fully lay it down, but we'll put that in later when it has something to lean on. All right, moving along. Of course, we absolutely can't go anywhere without glue. I have crazy glue is my favorite, but I use this as well. I use the little round quick glue. I rarely use the ones that it come with, but for the video purpose, I am going to go ahead and put the ones that come in there. Also, I recommend getting these little type of baggies, securing them. In case they leak, you don't want them messing up your bag and your other products. So make sure you have more than one glue. Sometimes the glue will harden on you and you can't do anything about it. Now, I've been in that predicament and I have had to literally take my earring off and poke through the glue top uh, just to be able to get my thing back on, to get my nail, you know, the glue back on, get the nail on, but get the glue. So I would also recommend to carry a push pin with you. Put that in there with your glue so that if you have to, if your glue gets uh, clogged up is what I'm saying, then you'll have a way to pierce it through the hardened glue and then the rest will flow out for you. So just drop that in there just in case. It is better to be prepared then to be caught up and it will be at the wrong time around the wrong people people you don't definitely don't want to see you slipping and looking unlike a diva a diva does not go more than 24 hours with a broken nail missing nail or chip nail next <clears throat> cuticle oil this is so freaking cute i got this i believe in a ipsy bag i've had it a while but it's so cute pink top love it so that's what that looks like and you go around here once you're treating your nails and stuff. And then of course, you're gonna have your um, nail polish remover to get the oil away from, you know, any paint and all of that. Now, if you don't have that, you're also going to have what? Your, um, oops, here we go. You're going to have your little swabs with alcohol in them. Put enough in there. If you can see, you could tell those are wet. 
put enough in there that it is going to be effective for you. Then next, uh, you want to make sure you carry something to clean up with. You never know, stuff gets stickier on your hands. You may be taking design items like, uh, you know, to do stones and stuff and something gets on your hand, or you just wanna freshen up your hands, have a way to do so. So I would definitely put those in there. Then you definitely want you a travel size um, manicure kit. That is going to house your file, your cuticle pusher, your nail clipper, and even some uh, scissors to snip around your cuticle. You want to have one of those <clears throat> in addition to your emery board. This is pink, came from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and place that in there. And I'm opting to stand a lot of this stuff up. Next, you want to have some cotton swabs. You never want to go without that so i would say either utilize this something like this another pouch to keep these separate protect it and dry or get you some more plastic bags i don't know where i put all of mine so then i also recommend take you some paper towel or tissue so that wherever you are you can lie that down and then you lay that down and you'll have a work area for your nails so you can lay that and not damage anything and just keep those protected of course uh plastic is always best for that type of thing if you're not going to put your tissues in here then put your extra nails in here okay and so then you can pop that in there now that is going to take up space so keep in mind do you want to take up that kind of space or you don't because remember i have this type of stuff you can also put these in little baggies as well okay so i may opt because of all the stuff i'm taking i may opt to put my paper towel into one of these type of baggies then you also can take you some when you're prepping your own hand and want to keep the marks and stuff off i take in a pill bottle i keep when i go on vacation and just most times i keep baking soda with me baking soda is so excellent for cleansing it's great for removal of marks i actually cleanse my face with this um, a few times per week you do have to be careful if you have dry skin do not use a lot of baking soda because it's a buffing technique and it's also drying but it's great because i have uh oily skin and even with oily skin i can see my face being dry and i have to go in with a moisturizer so be very careful when you're using it it's also great for people that have heartburn if you happen to go out of town you have forgotten your uh tums you need to get you the hottest water you can if you can get some hot water and sprinkle some of this in there not a lot this will burst your heart if you utilize too much think about it when you put this in something it fizzes up right that's what it's going to do inside your body but it does combat um heartburn immediately way better than anything you've ever taken but again I know how to utilize it because this was a old family trick <laughs> for years and years and years when I seen other family members have heartburn, they never bought Tom's and stuff, but they know how to use it as well. And so also, uh, I was also taught to uh, keep my body cleansed with it. So we have a huge five gallon bucket in our bathroom. We utilize this for so many things, but again, you would just sprinkle some of this on with some soap when you're cleansing get your little scrubber and just buff your hands time to time because our hands do get damaged and get marks i've gotten a mark i've gotten cut over here and so once i start back my regimen i can get rid of that and it just keeps a smoothness for your hands so uh again um the baking soda that's uh you know if you will that you don't have to do that all right so Moving right along, this is for people that sometimes may be a little bit clumsy. You put this on your index or your middle finger and it holds your polish. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it off. I got this so long ago <laughs> and just swore I was going to jump into using it. But the reason I have not used it is because I normally do not paint my own nails. But this is how it works, just in case you do. It holds the polish upright. Take it off and then, okay, so let me actually do it. This is some quick dry, super dry. 
So you just put it on, to make it very stable, put it on the two nails. Take this off and let's just, I'm only gonna do a tip because I want this to dry so I can continue my, but you see how I don't have to worry about this tilting over. It's stable, it's not bothering any other, other nails or anything like that. And it's called Tweezy. This, if this wasn't a Marshall's fan, then I may have gotten this in the Dollar Tree a very long time ago, but I recommend this if you don't want to keep put going from table to here, table to here, trying to turn it like this. I could bend it this way to get some more polish and go right back up and it's not going to do a darn thing. Nothing's going to happen. Pop it out. It holds it. See there? And right back. And it fits a plethora of things. Now, I don't know about this square. Let me try it for you. Most of these are not square. We could go this way with it, but yes, yeah, square works as well. So that was a good example for you all. And it's not going anywhere, ladies. Look at that. I recommend this, honestly. Uh-oh, this top is coming off, but that has nothing to do with it. So grab you one of those. Makes it easy and quick. And you put that in there. I'm going to put this, yeah, that way. And then get your favorite polish or at least your top coat. I'm going to go with just the top coat. If you want a little bit of design, but you're not a designer, you don't know how to design, I would say your safe bet is always glitter. You can get gold glitter, silver glitter, or multi. I think this one is my gold and silver, it looks like. But it just jazzes up your nail a little bit. Just look at that. If you just want, you can even do that just as a tip. That's actually a design. Look at that. Okay, can you see, can you see, honey, you see, you see, I do your nail, pretty honey, it make your nail pretty, you buy some, honey, all right, so there we go, so I typically keep that if I want to get a little zhoosh, you know, so there we go, next, of course, if you're going to be doing your nails and everything, you need to keep some hand moisturizer, go as small as possible, don't get caught with ashy hands or this kind I prefer this because this is my gold bond uh, lotion and I know what it does for my skin. It keeps my skin beautiful. My son, every time he goes to the doctor, his doctor comments as though it's the first time he's seen Joshua. He said, he has such beautiful skin. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And I told him about this lotion. I said, this was the only thing that I found that worked with him and um, keeps his skin looking nice. You just see the richness and prettiness, you know, just the niceness of his chocolate skin and it's not uh, ashy and it just lasts all day. He can be at school and I don't have to worry about, oh God, is he there looking a mess? Is he dried out? No. So this is what I would recommend on my hands. So I'm going to put that in there. Then this, I would say, Robin Cookie gave me this in friend mail, facial cleansing buff. Unfortunately, I do have to use this for my face. I've gotten some more Dr. Bronner, uh, some Dr. Bronner soap, the travel size, because I was out in old hubby, bless me, and got me some more the other day. But I would say get one of these and to exfoliate your hand with the baking soda and your soap. Do that every now and then. I'm going to look for another one. And then this, you definitely want to put in one of these bags. You want to protect that. But you may not want to, if you're going on vacation or every day, I wouldn't recommend you have to carry this every day because you're not going to be like treating your hand every single day. But I would say a couple times a week <clears throat> at least. And this is probably in a Dollar Tree. So I am uh, going to get me another one but right now I'm not going to put it in here because I do want to utilize it for my face I'm about to start doing a regimen so that's that and then in case you nick yourself go ahead and grab yourself just at least two rubber bands that you can protect a finger or two and of course I know if you have Hello Kitty I've been out of Hello Kitty ones grab those these robin cookies sent for my son joshua so i am going to put two of those in there in the camo because i also like camo so we're going to put put that in there and then and we have our polish whatever polish you choose to put in there i'm trying to make sure we don't need anything else because we need to be good to go you should be able to literally do your nails in the event that um you can't get to a store. 
So remember, we have to put this back in there. And give me one moment. I have to get my utensils. And then we'll be all done. Okay, I'm back with my utensils. It comes like this um, from the Dollar Tree. I was about to open it. But, uh, of course, you don't want to try to travel with this unless you have a larger container. You you can save this. It's really not that serious. This is, like, so flimsy. But if you want to hold on to it just for aesthetics and when you carry a larger tote, it has the separator for your fingers. Um, there is an emery board, small and short. I like that. And then the cuticle pusher there so i wouldn't necessarily throw it out but i wouldn't try to put it in here and there you go now that will eliminate you if you only need to do a little work from carrying the big mama you won't believe how long this has lasted my girlfriend here on the yt simply Tanika, told me about this years ago uh when she was doing her own nails with um the gel and then she told me to go buy this it's like the cure from Sally's and it, it ran me about a little over 60 bucks or so. But at that time, she told me to get this grit. Do you know I bought two of these and I am still using these things and that has to be about five years ago. <laughs> yeah, so um, they are really good. Look, even being worn here is so much life to this. But okay, I wouldn't choose that. So you can either choose a container to put your stuff in. I mean, a pouch. This is one that I designed. So I'm going to choose to put mine in there because I'm trying to be cute and stuff like that. Yeah, no. So there we go. I love that. That is so cute. It just makes you want to set up, right, and do your nails. So you can put your stuff in there like that. Now, <clears throat> if you want more space, I would recommend taking this stuff out and placing it in here as well. But, you know, of course, there you go now not having the container that houses that. So that's, you know, that's up to you. Also, go ahead and keep it cleansed as possible, neat as possible. I would slide my little uh, band-aids in there as well. And let's see what else we could put. Let's go ahead and throw our lotion in there. That's what containers are for. I mean, um little pouches are for so there you go now look how we've eliminated so much stuff floating around we could just put this in there nice and flat i'm gonna move this for just a moment and then you also will want to put your nails in something like this or again like i said a plastic bag okay real quick i found my original nail holder which is clear i prefer this for extra nails so i am going to take this out of the organza bag and put my other new nails that was in this package into here and then that way i am not worrying about um it taking up space and this not being all you know, um, sticking out and all of that stuff. This will work a lot better if I put everything in here. All right, let's get back into the video. You have a baggie like this, put your extra nails in there. Um, when you get jewelry and charms and stuff from Amazon, don't throw these packets out. You can utilize these type of things and put them in there. So these are the additional nails. Why carry a box <clears throat> when you can put these into something. So I carry my nails around in case I break one. So these are what I'm wearing. Here you go. And we're gonna put all this stuff to the side. And there we go. These stickies, I don't use them. This is for people that don't like to use glue or maybe you wanna pop them on for a picture and pop them off. This is not durable. Don't try to be all in water and stuff with this adhesive stuff. It's going to fail you. Okay, so that's another tip. When you're into press on nails, you I got a little card, like a business card, and I write what my left hand is. Like if this is a number 10, six, four, or two, and a one, I write that here, and then I write it for this one. When I go to do my nails, it's so easy because it really doesn't change up, especially when you stick to the brand. And I'm able to just pop them on and go on about my business. So. There you go. Let's this anytime this is creating air, just open your bag just a little bit and let that air out so that you can and then push up, push up, push up, hold that there and then close it. That's how you kind of 
It's like a vacuum seal without a vacuum seal. Look at that. Okay, see how it took form? And then you're able to just lay that in there and you're protected. So, you know, don't worry too, too much. And there, there's that up. Oh, we left some nails out. So let's get those nails back into the little bag. And tell me what you think about this, ladies. Do you all have one? Is it as in-depth as this? Or you just take you some glue in your nails and you go on about your business? <laughs> like, girl, I'm not doing all that. Me, this, I am my own uh, manicure and, and, and uh, nail uh, person, nail tech. Uh, since I've had Joshua, I tried to do the long nails and it just wasn't working out for me he just needed to get a little bit older it was just causing havoc and i pay too much money for them to keep breaking and having to go back and pay somebody five or six dollars every time they fix them so now i'm hooked to them i don't even care so all right here we go still left the nail out let's, let's put this in here lay that that way and we have so much stern oh let me tell you another thing let's take this out so these are new nails right Remember I say yes, pop them in there like that. But when you're fighting for a space, I would pop these out since they're all the same color and you could place them inside as well. And this comes with just the nails. There's no glue. So you could take this out and that will get rid of this rigidness that it's keeping me from closing it. So we'll just imagine that I put these inside of the organza bag, which is over here. And then we have to pop this in, right? Because we need this, remember? Because it's so much easier. And then put our nails in. And like I said, if you want more space, just take this out. Don't worry about it being in its case. You know, just take it out if it's going to cause havoc for you. And turn this, whichever way is going to make it easier for you to be able to zip this up. That's what you're trying to do. And let's see if we could get that on. Oh, let's, you know we have to jazz her up. So I am going to put on my little nail charm that I got from my girlfriend's shop. Here we go. It came with uh, other stuff on it, like the pom-pom and all that stuff. But for this purpose, I just want, okay. So remember, take some stuff out you don't need. And there we go. Look at that. Look how cute. And this just signifies to me that this is my nail bag. I love that. Super, super cute. So anyway, I thank you guys for hanging out with me and doing this with me. Let me know if you're going to put one together. If you have one, you want to switch it up now. Girl, talk to me below. Anyway, guys, thanks. It's been nice hanging out with you. Uh, I tell you all the time, do as I do. Be better to yourself tomorrow than you were today. And y'all know it's never goodbye. I'll see y'all later. Jesus talking now. I know you heard that. Take a second look and you gonna replay all of that. What you here for? I guess the praise the Lord. Praise the body dropping eight day. You paid the way for us. Uh, Jesus talking now. Uh, I know you heard that. Take a second look and you gonna replay all of that.